Okay, this is it. If we win this event, we're going to the Biodome. Let's do this, Team Pal! Yeah, I decided I don't like it. Okay, just make up your mind! <laughs> Listen up, junior geniuses. Imagine you're on Mars and suddenly you lose contact with Earth. Oh, already pretend your crew abandoned you. That should be easy. <laughs> Nothing's easy for me. I have issues. Are you two done? I've got a whole thing here. In order to survive, you must send a message to Earth by building a transmitter using the spare parts in your box. When it's received, your light bulb will light up. What will you do? What will you do? First message received wins. Let the madness begin. Okay. You work on the antenna, and I'll build the transmitter. Team Ginger has a rooting section? Not fair! I should not be penalized for being a dort. Are you kidding me? Hey, Parker. Evan, I can't talk to you. I have to focus on beating you. Okay. How about just a pat on the back for good luck? Oh, that was my neck. Guess I'm growing. <laughs> Are you taking your minions to Mars, too? There's not enough oxygen. <laughs> they only breathe when I tell them to. <gasps> Problem solved. working on the transmitter. I'm sorry, I'm just so itchy. I don't know what's going on. You're covered in hives. Is this what happens to you in pressure situations? I can't go to space with this. Feeling scratchy, Parker? Artie invented a cream that causes the itching, and I sneakily applied it to your neck. Booyah! <laughs> Evan, I thought that you were my friend. And he thought you were his. But then you left, and I taught him that it's better to be feared than loved. <laughs> oh, right. Breathe again. <laughs>